therapists don't see the clients. They're busy seeing the problems. They're busy seeing, I, they're, they're busy doing interpretations of what they see. I see your pain, I see your suffering. Bullshit, you can't see someone's pain and suffering. You can make an interpretation of what you see and you think it's pain and suffering. And maybe it is, but it's still an interpretation and, and not what you should be doing. You be, should be doing, I see pain in this person. How does it make me feel? God, it makes me want to take care of them. Or it makes me want to cry. Or very different with what happens when you, when you do what I just said compared to, I see your pain, I gotta help you fix it, you know? No. <laughs> We talk about the body work and we talk about the energy work, but most of the people that do sessions talk too much. <laughs> you know, they, they're more comfortable in the verbal and they don't open the body. A major part of our work is learning how to use the body and the body work and the energy in the body. And I would say easily 80 or 90 percent of the therapists don't do that. The first part of it is they don't really believe that it makes a difference. I mean, I think that's really true. I'm not trying to put anybody down or put the system of what we do down. I think, I think there's an insecurity about the body. You know, I mean, I think even in the classes when you ask people to, to take off their clothes or to, you know, I don't mean naked clothes, but to show parts of their body, people have a lot of stuff. So if you have a lot of your own body issues, it's going to be difficult to ask to see other people's body issues. The act of looking at somebody's body makes them more vulnerable, and the vulnerable makes them able to take a deeper journey. And when you see somebody's body and you react to how it makes you feel, it sends you into the session in a connection. It creates a relationship, a transference that helps, that helps a person. <laughs> Well, I think it comes up in any therapy, sexuality. If it doesn't, there's something wrong with the therapy because most of the life issues are around sexuality. <laughs> it doesn't mean having sexual contact, doesn't mean having genital contact. Um, sexuality means your life force, pleasure, your body feeling full, you know. Attraction doesn't mean um, that you want to have sex with the person or you want to, you know, attraction means I'm drawn to you. I want to get closer. I want to know more about you. Um, the, the best parts of, of making love is not, not having the orgasm. The best part is the foreplay, is the, is, the, is the seeing each other, the wanting to give to each other, the contact. <laughs> Core energetics, we have a uh, we we charge the energy in the body, we charge the energy in the muscles, then we have a discharge, a release of the energy. I mean, that's that's the whole sexual act. You get charged, you have an orgasm, a discharge. Um, emotionally, uh, the 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 discharge, the release of the energy that's been charged in your body, allows you to be in touch with the feelings that are unconscious. We have feelings trapped in the energy that we don't know what those feelings are. And we live life doing actions and behaviors without knowing why we're doing it. So when you start to make it conscious, life changes. That the most important quality of leadership is service. I mean, it's... Um, if a leader comes to serve the people who are following them, you, you can't really do anything wrong. I mean, it's service in the true word. I don't mean service that you bring people coffee or, or become subservient. But I come to this role with these people who are following me to try to give them whatever it is that their needs are. What are the needs of this group? And what are the needs of the individuals in this group? And I try to serve those needs from a healthy place without taking from them. Well, for me, that's leadership. I think authority, which would be the thing that happens, is when 
I tell you what you got to do because I'm the boss, you know. Um, you do this, and this is what needs to be done. You do it, you do it, you do it. Um, it's different. It's different. It's not, it doesn't see the person. It doesn't take into account whether they want to, whether they're ca capable of what, it doesn't mean that they shouldn't end up having to do something they don't want to do. But it needs to come from serving the needs of what the whole community is and having, okay, I disagree, but I'm going to do this because it's in the, and, the, and it's, it's right for what we all need. Um, so I believe a lot in, in leadership being service. I will. I also believe that learning, the ability to really learn something in a deep way comes from being in a community. Um, and community is a group of people who have created an environment where they're taking a journey together for a similar purpose. Um, and uh, when that happens and they're safe and people can ask stupid questions or not feel humiliated uh, when they do something wrong, their ability to learn, their ability to contact their higher self and be, and be more truthful, all that stuff increases. And the, and the community gets stronger and the individuals get stronger. One of the things that somehow doesn't get said about core energetics enough is that the main thing is the connection to spirit, the connection to, some, to a higher power. It's, um, you can't do technique and have people have their lives change. They have to have a belief in something beyond the mental. In simple words, I don't believe people make any change in their life if they don't have a concept of, uh, uh, of a God concept. A God concept doesn't mean you have to believe in God. It means you have to believe in integrity, in doing what's right, in not wanting to take from somebody, wanting to give to them. Um, they're concepts that um, that we all sort of have in a deep way, but we don't uh, we don't give energy to it. We're busy trying to get stuff and accumulate and be better than others. Have people see us in the way we want to be seen instead of who we really are. So the, the the God concept is walking in the world as the person that you are, and wanting to do what's right. And one of the main tools that core energetics offers is being in touch with what you feel. If you're in touch with what you feel in the moment of something is happening, you're, you're taking a step on the journey to be who you really are. You're being in your truth. And that's, that's God. That's, you, know, you, you feel good about yourself. You, you walk in the sunshine of the smile of God. My main prayer in a session is, please God, help me not know what to do. Uh, because I think when you, when you come to help somebody and you think you got to know what to do, you, you're making decisions from your mind. That's not what helps people. When you don't know what to do, you, you're trusting something else. You're trusting intuition, you're trusting spirit, you're trusting your heart, you're trusting that it's not you that helps somebody. You create an energy that allows the person that you're helping to take a journey that's going to serve them. And um, if you know where it's going to go or what they need or what you have to do, you hinder that. So uh, I, think, I think prayer needs to be used in the work. We need to use it all the time. You need to begin with a prayer, a prayer that says, please help me be the, 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 the catalyst for the client to go someplace that they need to go. The intention to, um, I mean, I think he, before even the body, the intention to say and to believe that you need some kind of connection to a higher power, um, I think it, it, not just for, I think any therapy that's doing good work has that belief someplace buried in the work, 
or buried in the person doing it. The, mo the modality d doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I used to think, well, the only way is core energetics. And I mean, it's a way, it's a good way, but it's not the only way. There are many good therapies around. And it's easy to blame bad therapy on the modality instead of the person who's doing it. You know? uh, it's like there are a lot of people who come into this work and, and aren't that good at it, you know. And there are some that are exceptional at it. <laughs>